Hello there guys and welcome to our 8th um, Java game programming tutorial. Today's tutorial we're going to go ahead and talk about, we're, we're going to go ahead and write the function, basically the update function, which will uh, update, which will be uh, basically its primary focus or basically what the function will be doing is um, um, keep track and update all the graphics on the screen. So, uh, as you can see here we are inside the asteroids class where everything basically, all the things will be happening there at the the graphic updates on basically updating the window, the applets window, um, rendering the graphics, uh, um, collision detection, all that stuff will be happening. So today we're gonna go ahead and write the update function. So to waste no more time, let's go ahead and get started. If you didn't watch the previous tutorials, guys, go ahead and watch those, as you will need those in order to basically to 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 go ahead and uh, write this tutorial. I mean, basically to go ahead and um, proceed with this tutorial. So go ahead and do that and let's go ahead and proceed with our with our uh, tutorial so in our previous tutorial we, wrote we did the in the initialization function and here I'm gonna go ahead and let's go ahead and start um, let's say here um, updates graphics on the screen on window maybe on the window Alright, so our function here, I'm going to call it public void, and I'm going to call it update, and let's call it graphics g. That should be inside the parentheses here. Let's go ahead and start here. So we need to, in order to start, we're going to start by setting the transport. So start, let me just say here, um, set transform. To identity, to start at identity, and so yes, I misspell identity there. All right, identity. So what we do here, let's call our graphics, our 2D graphics. So we to do that. Mine, I called it the uh, G2D, which was from up here, I believe, right here, as you can see, as I declared up there. So I'm gonna say here G2G. I'm gonna call set so dot set transform and I'm gonna call it here to the identity identity and don't pre and don't worry about some of the warnings we're getting here guys because we haven't actually initialized and declared variables and we haven't basically um, written these functions yet but we will in future tutorials so all of these warnings will go away later on so what we're doing here is basically we're setting the transfer to the identity in order the reason we're doing this is because every time we want to draw the ship is basically if so so if the player is moving uh, in the let's say in the x direction the ship is moving in the x direction then what this will do is basically um, once the ship let's say moves over by two pixels we do not want to keep um, the prior ship so basically we do not want to keep uh, the prior ship displaying on on that location then we display another one in the new location so that will that will basically be a disaster and and the game will, will look basically be totally wrong because we we only want to see one ship and not basically every time the ship uh, every time the location or the positioning of the ship is changed we do not want to redraw a new ship and also keep the old one so we, we, what this does is it get rid of uh, it will get rid of the old one and only draw the new one. So basically, in the new location, draw the ship and get rid of the previous location. Basically, do not do not draw that on on, on the screen. All right. Next here is let's um, let's erase the background. Let's erase window. Back. Let's erase background here. So let's type G to D and let's set paint here and let's do color. And let's make it. So we want our background to be black. And let's G2D that set fill. Sorry. We want to do fill rectangle. So let's fill this rectangle and let's make it here zero. So we want to start from zero zero and we want to get uh, get size. get size that width sorry about that huh? get size that width and also get size that height what this will do is get the size of the window and all and fill that with basically fill that background and make it black alright here next thing what I'm going to do is let's um, 
display some um, some information about the game. So let's display game info information. Basically, what the ship location is, wh which angle is is facing, and so on, and its moving angle, and so on. So let's go ahead and type G2D. Basically, we want to change the color here. So let's set the color. You know, because our background is black, so we want we want the foreground to basically be white, so we can be able to view the text. And once we have the color, let's go ahead and type G2D here, and let's draw a string. And uh, inside here, I'm gonna put ship, and then let me put plus math. What the plus does is is it will uh, concatenate the strings with uh, with um, with what I'm basically about to type now. So we type math dot round, and then we wanna type player ship which is the ship and also let's get the x location so what, so what we're doing here is displaying the x location on the screen printing out the x location of the ship and also what we want to do next is print out the y location so let's put another plus there and do the same thing so we do math round and then player ship and get y so we have the x and y locations here the x and y here means how big do you want the text to be in the screen? So I want to make it um, 5 by 10. Alright, next thing I will do here is I will also, what, so let's type draw a string again and I'm going to display the move angle so basically the angle which we are moving on the ship is moving on and to do that let's do plus there and let's go ahead and type math round player ship and then get move angle and then add 90 degrees to that and I'm gonna also make this doesn't make this five let's make this five uh, how big you want it. anyways you can change these numbers around it's just how big you want the text to get displayed on the screen how big you want the text to be on screen make it 5 by 15 and and here I misspelled so draw string okay and do you don't need a comma here which I have wrong and let's type G2D and then one more draw string here this time I'm gonna display the face angle alright so plus map round player ship and let me get the face angle and I'm gonna make this a little bigger here to display the text I'm gonna make it 5 by 40 alright so that's the info I wanna display next let's uh, draw graphics let's draw draw the graphics on the screen and I'm gonna so what I have to do is draw a ship and then draw bullets and draw asteroids these functions will be written in uh, basically in the future tutorial so those will be updating basically displaying the bullets and so on and next let's go ahead and paint so let's paint uh, graphics on the applet window to do that we just type paint and G double paint the graphics all right guys so this was basically us um, so this is basically our update function this will basically be updating all the graphics basically displaying the game info here the ship location where it's located on the screen um, the moving angle the face angle and also this will be drawing the ship uh, every so every time a new location so basically every every time the user decides to move the ship basically by hitting the arrows up and down then this will basically uh, draw the new, sh new ship look so it will basically draw the ship in a new location and also it will draw once the user hits space bar or clicks on the screen then it will also start it will start to join the bullet basically firing the bullets and it will also draw the asteroids um, that will appear on the screen so the user can dodge them or shoot at them and basically destroy them and uh, uh, so this was basically the update function this was our 8th tutorial so thank you for watching guys, there will be our 9th tutorial coming up soon.
and uh, thank you for watching this tutorial guys if you didn't watch the previous tutorials go ahead and do uh, watch those it truly means a lot leave comments with concerns or basically any suggestions you have rate the videos and don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys thank you for watching and stick around for more